YouTube. Today I will be showing how to remove the hard drive and or the CD slash DVD ROM drive. First step, which is obvious, remove all the peripherals and make sure and take out the plug. And then what you need to do is get it onto a soft surface like this. Make sure the stand is properly down. And then what you want to do is you want to roll it like this nicely. Put some damage in it. And you need, you need to get a, a screwdriver of some type. Let's see what do I have. Um, this will be. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to get a Phillips head thing is what it's called. And insert it here. And you need to take it and put it in this hole right here. This will not damage your iMac. And then you push to get it up like that. Don't do any more. And then you want to take it off and put it aside. If here's another thing. If you want to do any airport car, take a coin or a Phillips screwdriver. Open this by twisting that. And here's your airport car, RAM, things like that. Okay, so now to what the CT video is truly about. First, you want to get the other kind of head. And you want to remove these two screws right here on either side of the iMac. After you do that, you can see that the cover probably loosens up. See, now it's almost coming off. Next, you want to remove the iMac on. Don't, this will not crack anything. And then, you want, it seems like I don't have screws here for some reason. I'm not sure why. There should, you should have screws here. And you're supposed to screw them. And then this will come off like this. Set that aside. And now, you can see right here, this is the casing. My bezel is chipped. Speakers are damaged. Um, I've had speaker problems with this time. The other one is great. And the next thing you want to do is there's six screws on either side of this. Mine are not here for easy access. It's not really that important. So once you unscrew that screw, this screw, this one, and this one right here. They're a little hard to access, but once you get that, you should be fine. Now, there will be two screws up here. You want to remove them like this. Remember, you have to do the steps exactly, and I'll show how to close it. So, oh, oh my gosh. Don't do that. I accidentally threw the screw down into the iMac. I'll have to move that in a second. That was embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Make sure you have all your screws in a close space. Okay. Once you got those screws off, I need to get the screw off. So I'm going to... There it is. right here, the power for the hard drive and the cable, and under here is the DVD ROM, so first I think you're going to have to move the hard drive out of the way, like that, okay, you're going to have to remove these screws right here, I would recommend put these screws in a different area as your other screws, um, like this, once you got, and make sure you got the Cables unplugged. Like 
like that. You will need, if you have an airport card, you need to remove it by pressing. Okay. How do you open this again? Oops. It's only up. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Um, like, there's a little tab right here that's holding it on. Push it like that. Apparently. Oh my god, I'm having technical difficulties here with this. I may need to remove the RAM, too. Just because it seems to be in the way. Yeah. There, yeah. Find, find a way how to open it. Then, that's how you get the hard drive out. Now the hard drive, which is the original 10 gigabyte hard drive. Now, you need to open it with that to get to the CD-ROM. Now, CD-ROM is right here. This, this process is a little more tricky. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I remember I did this, but I'll get this open by the end of the day for sure. Okay. I think you need to get their screw right here. Um, you need something like this to access it. If you don't have one of those, try your best. Okay, you need that. You need the same kind of head as you had earlier. And do it like so. Ugh. You may need to remove the speakers. Get to that. Yes. I'm trying to find out how to remove these speakers. Don't touch that part right here. I don't know what that is right there. Um, I don't think these speakers are removable. Ugh. Well, um, first, I guess, you can remove this right here. I recommend removing the RAM of pushing these two tabs up if you're a newbie with computers. Um, there. Once you got the RAM out, set them like this. Um, if you're also a newbie, that there's only one way that they go in. So, if okay, once you get this cable, kind of pull it up, and kind of switch out of the way. Okay, it seems like it's held on by a screw here and a screw here. So this screw will be easy. You can use this with a normal screwdriver. Um, but I, I'm using this one. I got tools for my birthday and <laughs> Christmas. So. I'm using my Ruby because it's my favorite. Um batteries here. Um, some of the last, I don't know, it might be a battery or a capacitor. Here's some capacitors. Big capacitor. Last battery. No, no I got this wrong. Maybe those aren't capacitors. I have no idea. I don't know much, but I think those are. Some of them. But, anyway, here's the VGA right here. This is the processor. And this is something. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to find a way to get this. Um, I think I'm going to end the video right here do part two in, a, in a, about a couple minutes. Well, we can just cut when you have it where you need it to be. Okay, so we're going to end the video and we'll resume it.